Today we attempt to unite all of Africa under our banner, returning with the seven-year-old Togba. He will face many problems, from crusades to the giant Arabian Empire, but can he make it happen? Also, if everybody watching this subscribed and hit my goal in no time, it would mean so, so much to me. Thank you. So welcome back to our Uniting Africa series, and today we probably have one of the worst starts we've had so far. We are Togba of Guinea, but we are just seven years old. Of course, Gardaia died at 65 years of age. And now we got to try and survive with all of this land as just a child. Now, luckily, our regent is our mother and she's selfless. So I think we're okay on that side of things. But some vassals are not exactly too happy with me. So what I'm going to do is make sure they go on the council. And I mean, we have quite a lot of money. So I think we can just pay them off and we should be okay there as well. Now, I'm a bit worried about leaving Egypt because if they get taken by the Abbasids, that will be really tough. We get wrecked by the Abbasids right now, but we'll just see how it develops. It would be quite cool to have a massive fight at the end, but we got to focus up here. Now, there's some fairly ish powerful people like Ghana got 5,000 men, but for the most part, the walls shouldn't be too bad. It's obviously infighting that we have to worry about. Also, hopefully at some point we can become feudal, but I don't know. It's taking so long to get each innovation and we're not the cultural head. I don't think until we're actually an adult. So we haven't really no sway over that either. Now, of course, our brother, once again, on inheritance has taken our other mine, which sucks. We're not going to make an alliance with him. We'll see if he loses it and we can try and take it off somebody later. But each life, of course, we now have access to invade kingdoms and holy wars for kingdoms because we did make our new faith and something was quite funny last time i don't know why this looked really big on the map but i didn't realize this is just one county and i did a holy war for this a singular county is that the biggest county in the game it has to be right i didn't like zoom in i just assumed that's a lot of land let's go for that no it is one single county starting out we'll try and do things like meet peers we'll try and boost my guy as much as we can what i'm also going to do is make sure we have somebody good educating us our mother's a genius we'll go with her we are bossy so we have martial stewardship We'll stick with the marshal and we have a good court tutor. We'll make our mother our court tutor. It's going to cost us 200 prestige, but she is an excellent one. So we should get a better education. So let's see if we can get some nice boosts to our marshal and prowess today then. So we get extra learning. Learning is always fantastic and we didn't get it perfect. Increase stewardship. I mean, yeah, there we go. So we have a chance to increase our marshal. I mean, we have a chance of being wounded. There we go. We got it. And we gained 150 prestige for that one. Nice. And for the expansion side of things, I think I'm going to start out like sort of over here, get this area first, and then we can just go around the shoreline. And maybe today, if we unlock African canoes, we can do some nice raiding to the Pope, as we'll be able to raid across seas. Right now, I don't think we can do that. Yeah, I definitely feel like we're getting to the point where we kind of need to become feudal pretty soon. Our army's quite limited. It might be okay, but if the Abbasids do take over Egypt and we need land off them, I don't think we can get a big enough or strong enough army being tribal for now. So that really may limit us, but we can get humble, cynical, or content. Now, content is a sin, so we don't want that. We can go cynical then, or humble. Plus 10 opinion of vassals. Why not? We'll take that. Okay, so we get the next set of traits. We can be zealous and ambitious or sadistic. Now, zealous is nice, right? More martial, but ambitious is just one of the best traits. Yes, you get more stress for a plus one across the board. And it's virtuous to get more piety. I mean, yeah, we're going to go with that. It's a virtue for us. Okay, somebody's trying to murder me. Uh, we just come of age and we picked up tough soldier somehow, even though I thought I did everything I could have to get a good education there, but apparently not. Yeah, somebody is trying to murder me. So hopefully we can stop that because that would just make this whole thing a bit painful. You know what? We'll go down a chivalry focus. Let's just make this guy absolutely insane. Now, we need to get married. We haven't done too much like trait chasing, I guess. So I might look for some, maybe a good trait this time. An intelligent would do quite well. 29. You know what? That's not too bad. We are losing 400 prestige, but that's fine. We're pretty close now to being illustrious. It's just, there's no really counties I want to go after. Maybe things like this we could just do a county war for, but I mean, we're not gaining much prestige for them. But they're easy to do. We only need to take some um, of our men at arms and then just march in on their capital. And it's as good as over at that point. Okay, right. I decided to county war on this guy and he just got his holy order involved. He now has, what, 5,600 men. Surely we could found a holy order. Oh, we need a barony with a city or castle, of course. So you can't found a holy order unless we're feudal. Is that right? Yeah, we can only get temples. So yeah, we. I didn't realize if you're tribal, you couldn't create one, but that seems to be a thing. Well, let's quickly raise all. Let's just take everyone in. And then we're just going to march in 
Say goodbye to them. Hopefully, it's saying it's even sometimes, which is a bit scary. How is this even? What soldiers do they have? They have heavy cavalry, but I mean, I shouldn't kill 15,000. At least I hope not. That would be a bit intense. No, we demolished them. And there we go. That did push us now, finally, to being illustrious. And this is where we can start doing the big duchy wars. And I mean, of course, I'll probably save the invade kingdom for you. And maybe, is this a holy warable kingdom? Yeah, I might do that. Them two make the most sense to use those things on. So we'll make our way towards them and then take them. There's no point skipping and going straight to them. I mean, we're only 18. We got all the time in the world to make this happen. So for now, we've just become illustrious. I'm just going to keep doing duchy walls and build my way there. So for our first one, let's take this one right here, right through the middle of this guy's land. And I'm hoping at some point our vassals start doing a lot more walls on their own. Because right now, they don't seem to be doing a lot. And for some of these walls, hopefully, I mean, our men at arms should be enough. And our wife is pregnant already. Let's hope we don't get too many children this time. Don't want to get like 15 sons and then inheritance is just terrible and we lose everything. But they are sieging quite fast. So we've sieged their capital, chased them down now, take their armies out. Boom, we had a son straight away and he picked up quick. Not perfect, but why not? They want to name him Togba again. Uh, we won't do that one again. We've already had too many Togbas. You know what? We're going to go with Kali again. If you remember, that was our ruler who died of camp fever really young. So if we name him Collie, maybe Collie can get a redemption. Let's see. If we can make his life the one to finish it off, maybe that would be nice. But yeah, I don't fully know. And there we go. We actually captured... Who was that? His son then? Yeah, captured here. So that finished that off. Nice. We just picked up Forder. So that allows us to cross rivers and straight without the advantage penalty. I mean, um, I don't... I don't think we're going to get much use out of that one in Africa, up this side of Africa anyway. Okay, I'm genuinely not sure if this is a bug or something, but somehow our culture has no head. And realistically, it should be me. I mean, but for some reason, it doesn't have one. I don't really know what to do about that because now we're just stuck unlocking things I don't want. But as you can see, we've taken a fair amount of land now around Ghana. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to subjugate Ghana. I think that would be a good play. It's going to cost us 500 prestige. That is honestly a pretty nice chunk of land right there. They have, what, a thousand men. They've been in some wars, so they're not exactly powerful enough to challenge us. As long as we're quick, we station besiege as well. We should have no troubles now just taking them on. Uh, there we go. Um, we actually captured him in the first battle. And we just become a devoted servant, so... We need one more level of devotion and we can do a kingdom level holy war. And we're almost exalted among men as well. Things are starting to go pretty well for us so far this life, which is nice as I was a bit worried it would go terribly after we were like seven when we got the throne. But we need to make sure Ghana likes us. So we're going to send him a gift. He still hates us. We may have to put him on the council, to be honest. I'm not sure how we can get him on our side. I mean, I guess to get rid of the not rightful liege opinion modifier, we could just create the empire of Mali. There's not really much problems in doing that it doesn't really affect us. I mean, if he stands up, we'll just fight him, but hopefully we should be okay with that. Okay, we do have loads of prestige right now, so we may as well try and pass high tribal authority. It means we can revoke titles. So I like that. Let's try and pass it. We may have some issues, but as long as we can pay them off, I think we're okay. Oh, and now we can actually revoke the title from my brother. We sent him a gift, as you can see, and that got plus 40 opinion. He did refuse an alliance previously, but we can actually revoke the county with the mine, and and he should just give that to me. And now we can just give away maybe, you know what, we'll give him an extra county there to make up for it. But for some reason, the county with the mine has zero control. He's not taking good care of it. But if we fix that control, we'll have two mines once again on the go, finally. And no, there's not a massive faction trying to lower the crown authority. Fantastic. And just like that, we are finally exalted among men so we can now do a kingdom invasion. I think you make the most sense out of everybody, to be honest. See Seems like the most land. Now, we will get him as a vassal. That could be really, really scary. He's got 3,700 men, let's say, so he's not massive, but he could cause us a lot of problems if he wants to. And I imagine he will, but let's go for it. Why not? What we're going to do, go behind this mountain, station besiegers everywhere that we can. And I'm hoping his armies come this way. If they don't, we may be in trouble because 
all our men at arms. Yeah, there they are. Although we may still be in trouble because our men at arms are not powerful enough and I don't know if they're going to make it back in time to save them. Oh, never mind. Our men at arms just wiped the floor with them. And we captured his son and heir as well. Okay, this is going way too well. Okay, but of course they come back and that time they win the fight. Of course they do. We have 97%. This army is starving. But you know what? Let's move everyone over there. And what we're going to do, if possible, assault fort. Uh, we can't. Once we do one more siege, though, it should end. So we're going to have to rebuild our army, basically. We lost a lot due to attrition. And we did lose a couple battles in the middle. Oh, we, we can now found a holy order then. So we can use this barony title. Okay, yeah. Oh, some of them. Wait, have a castle hold. Holden. How do I have a castle Holden? That's strange. I'm assuming that was already there then. Maybe uh, there was a feudal ruler there in the past and it was like a feudal county maybe. I don't know. Unless I'm just completely messing up a game mechanic, but I don't know how there's a castle there. That's a feudal Holden, but we can create an actual holy order now for 500 gold and a thousand piety. Let's do it. That could be super useful, but more importantly, powerful vassals over here don't like me. So I got an idea. We've made this guy fairly powerful already. What we're going to do, we're going to grant him all these new titles. Now, this guy still has the kingdom title because of course he does. I need one more county in this kingdom to create it. So what we need to do is go to war against you for say a duchy. He has 20,000 men. Yeah, he's got some very powerful allies, but we need to think of a kingdom title to give this guy so we can give him some of these vassals and there's not really any more up here we can create. There's this one. You know what? Let's give him this one. It's a bit out of his land. I don't know if that will cause him issues, but if we give him that kingdom title and then grand vassal, we can give him him. And also these new ones over here. He should be fairly powerful. Uh, we'll send him some money. Maybe he can, like, get some mercenaries if he needs it. You know what? We'll put him up to a thousand gold. And hopefully, yeah, if they rise up against him, he can defend from them. But we are going to have to keep this guy as a vassal because he kept his kingdom title. So he's probably going to join some factions and do all stuff like that. But hopefully he's not too much of a problem. It's so crazy to look now and see how far we've come since the beginning. We literally started with this one highlighted county. And look at that already. We've done pretty well. I mean, it's been, what, 161 years and we've expanded quite fast. Now, we finally do have some decent board with some other seas so we could do some nice raiding if only i could go back to being the cultural head and i could actually go for west oh i think i just worked out the issue somehow basically uh crew has no land anywhere. The culture is literally gone. That is the problem. Ha I don't know how that has happened, but apparently it has. So that is a bit of an issue. I think our best bet from now is just to convert to another culture. Our capital has the Malinky culture. So I guess, yeah, we just go with them. We're going to lose mustering grounds again, though. So I don't know if that will delete some of my armies, but I guess we don't really have a choice. It's a bit easier than having to go th back through the trouble of converting all my counties and stuff. So you know what? We're just going to convert it to that culture and we're back to the cultural head so we can focus now back again on mustering grounds. We're over our limit. So I don't know what that does. We're paying 20% extra. I don't mind that. That's not a problem. Okay. Oh, and we have actually 70% of the uh, era innovations now. So if we get to 1034, we actually may be able to go feudal today. Okay, nice. That's an awesome plan. So in the meantime, let's just keep expanding. What I'm probably going to do, you know what? I'm actually going to go on a pilgrimage. We'll do a pious one. And last time we did have some terrible results for our pilgrimages. So hopefully this time we get a little bit luckier. We'll make sure we're on altruism again. It's going to cost 625, but let's go and do it and see if we can get a nice jump up to hopefully be in Paragon of Virtue. Okay, so we got to level one. So that's an extra 10% taking us. I think we earned 700 from that. So we'll take that. We are now a Paragon of Virtue. So we can do another Kingdom War. Now, I would like to go for this guy, but he doesn't have much land if we actually look. Whereas some of these have a little bit more. I think this guy is the best one through the war against this faith which is quite big but i mean there's not many of them left so i think we're safe to go for this guy on a holy war so a holy war for kingdom and we're gonna jump straight in for it raise all our men at arms but also raise all as well our levies are basically going to just siege everything so in total yeah they got eight thousand men so we got a lot of sieges going on they're all quite slow but as long as we just keep an eye out on their armies make sure none of them get the jump on us we should be okay as long as our men at arms are like in the middle of them ready to attack 
attack. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky we had a big army right there to jump in and save us, or otherwise we'd have lost that battle. But Collie can pick up another trait, impatient, honest, or arbitrary. I'll go with impatient. So far, he's got Gregarious and impatient. He's looking decent. His stats are looking pretty good as well. If we actually can keep baiting them in to lock into fights with my levies, as long as we can get there quick enough with our other armies, it's just free wall score stacking up. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, ignore that. Crusade for Africa. Damn. That's not going to take too much land off of us, but damn, why Africa? They could have gone anywhere. Like, I'm surprised they didn't go up here, to be honest. They usually go for Spain or, I mean, you know, Jerusalem. But of course, this time they decided, you know what, we want Africa because of course they did. And we're going to try and defend it the best that we can. Fairfield defenders as well. But yeah, the Catholics are about to stock up loads and it's going to jump in their favor, no doubt. It always does. Okay, it's about to launch in 10 days. So we're going to get the jump. And what we're going to do up in Africa, we're going to raise our men at arms and slightly over here if we can. Raise all as well. So let's see, who are we fighting for this? Okay. Okay, so we have 68,000, we have 34,000. Nobody massive has joined in other than the Pope. Britain is looking quite big, Denmark. But other than that, we didn't get like, you know, Bavaria or Germany, Lotharingia or anything like that, which definitely helps. I'm not going to waste those money on mercenaries either because we're about to be feudal pretty soon and it'll just be a waste of money. I don't know if it's going to be that helpful anyway. Let's just see, wait for them all to hopefully soon come in and start landing. Okay, they're all up there. I just didn't see them. They didn't come straight to uh, this side of Africa. So well, let's all march up this way. And I don't know if we're going to even win the first fight, but we're going to try. What is this? There was a tyranny war against me or something that we apparently just won. I didn't even see the war there. But let's just march in. Let's see what we can do. If we lose the first battle, it is what it is. I'm not expecting too much to go our way. We'll merge them all into one big death stack. I'm not going to lead it myself. I don't really want to risk it. But let's see how this first battle goes. We're currently down 11%. We have some more allies coming in, but they have loads as well. I think they have a lot more. We got a decent amount. A lot of them are coming in from the sea, though. Yeah, I mean, we still got the you will probably win there, but I mean, that was brutal. Down 61%. I wonder what happens if we take all our men. Someone just declared war on me for a reclaim relics war. You know what? Take your relics. I literally do not care about your relics, but you could have just asked me, to be honest. I probably would have just given it to you. If we're quick enough, I wonder if we can get to the Pope's land and raid Rome, capture the Pope. Will it just end instantly because he's the war leader, technically? Let's try it. It's going to be a slow siege. So... What we're going to do is hold out, hopefully break the walls soon, and then just start an assault. There we are, we're assaulting it. We're going to lose a lot of men. But if we capture the Pope... Ah, we didn't. Um, Yeah, that may have been like our one chance to win that. Even though we're probably going to lose, we will definitely try and get one back later. We will not let the Pope just get away with this. And Collie has come of age. Um, Somehow his marshal's quite bad, to be honest. He only pick he picked up skill tactician, but his marshal's only seven. Uh, <laughs> not great. Yeah, at this point, we're just dragging it on. There's no way we win. But you know what? Even though we're going to lose, we are going to ruin Rome. We are going to destroy the Pope's land. We are going to take him for everything he has. Kofi must have abandoned High King Togba to allow his armies to be so thoroughly defeated by soldiers of the cross. Following their successful crusade, the heathens have occupied Africa and claimed its surrounding territories rightful Catholic land. You know what? At the same time. We did, we did a good, decent chunk on Rome. A look at that new kingdom. We have King Charles of Africa. He is French. But hey, that is something else we may have to try and deal with later on. But today, I'm still keeping my plan to actually take this part. Can't believe that, though. Once we get the proper ability to raid and that, and we have a good time to do it, we will definitely get revenge on that. We won't let them get away with that. But we can pass absolute crown authority, and now we can adopt feudal ways. We're making 32 gold a month. That will go down because our army will change to being paid for with gold. But I think, let's go for it. A new era. The old ways have served us well, and we will always honor them. However, as the emperor of Ubi, I have concluded that we must adopt feudal and its principles if we shall continue to prosper. It is the crucial next step on our road to greatness. Oh yeah, why is it changed to Ubi then? I think it's this new culture. Uh, yeah, because just our house name now is our empire name. I'm going to change the color of it though. I'm going to go for a nice blue. There you go. Something like that's quite nice and it stands out because the other color was quite easy to miss. But we're making 12 gold a month now. And what we can do is go to our capital. I always lose it. And now what we're going to want to do is start building everything that we can. Now, none of these are great for 
for actual money, to be honest. We have forestries which help with building construction time. We are going to build up this main duchy of Bambuk just as much as we can, to be honest with you. And to actually upgrade the mines, we are going to need uh, keep and has manoralism. So that may be a little while away. We need to get keep. So I'm going to go for that now, I think. Oh, you know what? We'll get mustering grounds first so we can support this army. And then we're going to move on to get actually manoralism. And then battle month so we can upgrade the castle, I believe. But... That's nice, though. A lot of the times when you change to feudal, you just go bankrupt because it's just so expensive. But the mines definitely helped with that. But I'm happy with that. We have actually become feudal. Okay, and actually, it's not that bad. Now our, all our armies are rebuilt, we're actually making 26.6 gold per month. That's huge. Yeah, I wonder what is going to happen to this kingdom then. Will they just get taken over? I mean, they're actually expanding. They're doing a holy war right now. I'm going to let them brew up what they're doing. You know what? I'm going to focus down here a minute and just see what they do. It'll definitely be interesting to see. I'll probably build some militia camps as well because they give a straight 20% bonus to archers. And that's like most of our army. So if we build these up and station all our archers as well, that would be pretty big for us. Okay, this guy must have recently died and he has no allies. So we're going to go... Big holy war. The rulers might join, but they shouldn't be able to join, I don't think, because they're my vassals, right? Or is it different for holy wars? It's different for holy wars. Okay, cool. I wasn't 100%, but at least now I know, and I'll probably forget it next time I play. But all the armies are down here. If we can catch them out, we have some besiegers stationed on his capital. So we're just marching now with a large army to try and kill as many of them as we can. 15% off that one battle. After almost 50 now off another battle. So basically, at this point, just siege, and we're practically done. Perfect. There we go. So we can enforce that one as well. And yeah, we've basically taken now all of this side of Africa. Okay, so this little county down here of Kabu is the last county we need of all the little independent guys. But as you can see, something terrible has happened. King Thomas of Lotharingia has somehow taken that. So let's have a look at this county title and just see how maybe it moved around because I'm not too sure. So it was conquered in a holy war and just for inheritance, it seems maybe this sort of area has gone to Flanders, which is a vassal of Lotharingia, which is interesting. To fight in them is going to be a pretty big war. Although it looks like more land than it is, of course, as usual in this area. But first of all, I'm so sorry. You won't be vassalized by me. And I'm not going to waste my time trying to vassalize you because, you know, I have other ways to get what I want. Like, I'm sorry, it, it, had to, it had to happen, right? And we're getting so many prisoners from this. We're up to, well, almost 17,000 gold, which is insane. But I'm ready. It is time to take on Lotharingia. We are going to conquer county. And he has one ally, which is um, Norse ruler, but they're not very powerful. We're going to raise our men at arms and our holy order. And let's see, they're bringing 13,000 men. So one county back, we'll do a raise and pick up all our levies as well. Now, attrition is just going to be a problem. There's not too much realistically we can do about it. So we'll station besiegers. And once our men at arms are raised, finally. We're going to take our main army and we're going to have to go around all this way to go fight. I'm going to leave these levies back just to siege. But these two people are going to go in for a big fight and hopefully win. We're taking some attrition along the way as well. But I, I don't think there's too much we can realistically do about it. We just have to hope our armies are better. And they may not be. Lotharingia probably have some great men at arms. Please catch them and stop them sieging pretty soon, please. We may lose this because they're going to have better men at arms. Uh... Oh my god, it's so back and forth. Oh, no way. We lost by 78 men. If we had these guys there, we would have won. That is crazy. Okay, well, I'm not losing this. So, we're going to hire two lots of expensive mercenaries into one army. Damn, our armies are split up around this. We're going to have to bring these back around. And once they actually reach us, go in for another fight with all of our men. Oh no, they're all following us. But they're taking attrition as well now. So, if we just run away fast enough to meet up with my men at arms. We should be able to defeat Lotharingia. If they keep running, please. They're taking crazy attrition as well. So we need to jump on this while we have the opportunity to start taking out all their armies. Once they're taken out, then we can focus actually on the sieges. But quick, before we lose too many men to attrition, let's just chase them down and catch them. There we go. No problem. We took out all their armies. They are now down to 1,500 men. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in one big army, and then we're just going to station besiegers everywhere. We're going to take attrition. That's a given. But as long as we can station enough procedures to try and do this quick. We'll start getting some lands we can actually resupply in as well. Our mercenaries are almost about to leave. We will pay to extend it, to be honest with you. I think we're going to need them. So you know what? We'll just extend them both. Look, their power's gone back up to almost 10k. They're going to be coming back for fights pretty soon. 
Yeah, there they are. So now what we're going to do, move our main armies back up. That one's just going to die. What we're going to have to do is move them all down, hopefully away from them, in time to meet up with our main army. I'm going to have to try and defeat them once again. Now, let's just start chasing them. We may lose some men because this, like, low number over here is going to get to them first. But as long as they can bait them out into fighting and we win with our main army, we should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Look, they're all moving in because I don't think they know these are coming. They can just see this low number be here. But it should be quick enough to catch them out. Hopefully, please. Don't let me down. Come on, you jump in now. Come on, quick. Come on, don't let them run away. This is a long war. Longer than I was expecting it to be. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Now what we need to do is really fast siege the war target. So we're going to split them in half. One half is going to siege the other county. And once we have the war target, we'll have ticking war score. It's going to take a little while because I'm not going to bother going up to Lotharingia to siege. Okay, there we go. We're about to win any second from ticking war scores. And this was brutal for my money. We lost about half of our money. That was a really, really tough fight. That was really back and forth. That took a whole nine years to do. We have kicked Lotharingia out of Africa. The other problem, which I'm sure you know, is... The other African Catholic kingdom that is still kicking about in our land. We, of course, have already used our Invade Kingdom, Casus Bella, and our Holy War Kingdom one this life. So that's why we're going to leave them till last. Hopefully, we can do a big chunk on all these smaller dukes. And then when Collie takes over, we're ready to face Africa and the two rids. Now, thinking about it, really, I could have reformed our culture and picked up by the sword. And we could have done as many kingdom level holy wars as we want. It's pretty pointless now. But if you are doing this yourself, definitely pick that up. That will do wonders for you and save you so much time. But if you remember, I did ask for a nice name for our kingdom. And I got so many great great suggestions. So thank you all so much for that. But there is one I really, really like above the rest. And it is al Balan, And it is the original name of Africa. And it means the mother of mankind. So what I'm going to do, and I know this kind of breaks the immersion sort of thing of it, but it's the only way we can do it right now. So we are just going to change our dynasty name to al Balan, So then it'll actually update hopefully soon with our empire name. There we go. It has updated now. So we'll just pretend they're still the Ubis, right? We'll still say Ubi. We know who they are, but we best make a start because we got a lot to do. We are, of course, now as well, finally feudal. We're making 50 gold per month and we've got 9,500 in the bank. We have done a fair few upgrades on our capital, built it up slightly. There's still some more we can do, but we are going to have to wait until we get battle months and that is going to take us another 20 years and that is with scientific unlocked as well. I say we just start making our way through this part of the map now, taking as much land as we can each time and, of course, trying to be pretty quick. So I would like to do as much of this before we die. Damn, this guy is also now the living legend. So he's the living legend and he's a religious icon. Are they Why do they raise so slow? Yeah, this guy's had a fantastic life so far. Yeah, they did defeat us then, but we can just march in and take them on. One thing that's kind of worrying, uh, our son, Collie... We give a second chance if you remember the first Collie did die of camp fever, but he's already 39 and I hate having really old ears. But there's not exactly too much we can do about that anyway, so we'll just leave it. Oh, nickname, the lion. Noble, fierce, majestic. If the lion is the king of beasts, then your obvious similarity to the animal suggests a bright destiny for you. That is my favorite nickname we've had so far. There we go. Hopefully, the rest of these wars are as easy as that one. Because we've got quite a few left to do now. Now, none of them are super powerful. This guy down here is fairly powerful. Oh, you know what? A lot of them have a good few thousand men. The scariest one by a mile is the two rids Sultanate. They have 15,000 men. So I'll probably leave them to last because they're pretty terrifying. What I'm doing, I'm going to try and take the biggest duchy off of everybody first because that will make them weaker for later. As you can see, the borders over here for a while are probably going to be a mess. But if we take all their biggest ones, when we then go to finish taking it all, it'll be so much easier. Oh, somebody is trying to murder me. 83% chance. Would this guy try and murder me? It must be my spy master, right? Because that is so high. Let's see, who are my rivals? you. And this is the Wolf of Flanders who we did take this land off over here as he was a vassal of Lotharingia. Would he be trying to murder me? Maybe? I don't trust my spy master though. They should not get such a high chance with this guy with 28 intrigues. So what we're going to do, we're going to swap him out for our friend and the scores say the same. I think we're about to get murdered. Uh, it, yeah, it didn't matter. Damn. Who was that? Why would you kill him? He was literally how successful he was. And you just killed him. Emperor Togba of the al -Bolan Empire has abandoned his mortal coil at 61 years of age. But Emperor Kali ascends to the throne, blessed with an abundance of 
friends, Holly is likely to find strong support for his rule. Well, that is relieving, to say the least, after that. What we are going to do, get the best by master we can, and we're going to get them to find secrets in my capital. So if the person who killed me was in my court, we do have a chance of discovering them because I want revenge for that. I really want to find out who that was. But the plan stays the same. Let's carry on. We're down to 15 gold a month now. Our men at arms raise so slow. So we're finding so many murder secrets, but none of them have been the murder secret we need to find out. Now, problem is, to do the actual holy war and invade Kingdom Cassus Belize, we're going to need to get a lot of fame and a lot of prestige. Uh, we're not even faithful yet, and we're 43, and we're not even distinguished yet either. I, I don't think even if we did loads of hunts, loads of feasts, and loads of pilgrimages, we'd have enough. So what I'm probably going to do is save the Kingdom Wars then for our next year, because I don't think we're going to be able to do it this life. It'll be a waste of money, to be honest with you. Yeah, look how many murder secrets we have found. But still, we don't know who murdered our father somehow. But yeah, either way, this guy's life, yeah, we're going to focus on sort of this area down here. There's some um, pretty powerful people, but hopefully they won't give us too many problems. It's just doing them before we die. We are already 44. I mean, we don't have whole of body. And some of the other rulers died really early without it. So we may only get about 10 years with this guy. And our son is 11 right now. Oh, we just got... This is a private army. The last warfare dynasty legacy. So this will give us a whole new men-at-arms regiment, which is really helpful. Plus, we can now recruit house guards, which are a heavy infantry and they're pretty good. So we're going to unlock that now as well. And probably in a minute, once we get some income coming back, we will do that. Wait. Taste in the ground a little tumble. My entourage and I are enjoying a long, leisurely ride near Bambuk. Our business for the day concluded. We wend our way homewards in time for the evening meal. The sun is just beginning to dip below the horizon, sending red beams of light cascading through our number. When my horse bucks, Suddenly, the motion is far too hard and too fast for me to regain control, sending me tumbling from the saddle. There's an 80% chance we become incapable, which will make our ruler terrible. And we're now in a regency as well. Damn, what is wrong with the name Collie? I think it's cursed. Last time we were Collie, we died of camp fever. This guy took over for five years and he's now incapable. What is going on? Like the name Collie is just, there's something wrong with it. I can't be going much worse than this. Oh, I, I think I've ever been incapable before. Uh, yeah, we can't declare war. We can't declare war. We can't do anything. I mean, hopefully we die soon then, I guess. <laughs> That's our only option here. Oh, there we go. That was perfect timing. So hopefully we're gone soon then because that was just pointless and terrible. And we just become melancholic as well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to build a full stack of house guards, max them out, boost our army even more, ready for inheritance. Oh, <laughs> and there it is. And now Emperor Kalabi ascends to the throne, a gentle and compassionate soul. Let's see how this guy goes and hopefully a bit more successful than last time. We'll start his life off as well with a nice feast. Try and make some friends with some of our vassals just in case you know anything gets out of hand but we're 16 so hopefully we can do it this life and if we marry this person we gain 900 prestige her father or her dynasty is this one i don't know why it's so prestigious but it is so i'm gonna do that there we go because we're gonna have to try and get a lot of prestige we can demand a conversion as well of course so there you go the feast is finally starting so what i'm gonna try and do is just make as many friends as i can and get highly esteemed 20 percent more monthly prestige for 10 years definitely there we go that was really successful we're halfway towards illustrious as well as we are gonna have to be exalted among men to do a kingdom level invasion so we have to go towards that as well but in the meantime it's just the point of keeping expanding for now oh no the one thing i was dreading this whole time egypt as i assume possibly been vassalized by the very scary neighbors with 62,500 men how are we gonna defeat them i don't know we may have to try some murders later on but yeah that is the worst thing that could have happened at this point we're so close to being able to take them down making our way towards exalted among men and stuff. But yeah, that's going to cause us loads of trouble. Okay, so one of my vassals just claimed my throne. 
Who are you? Okay, you're all the way down here. You don't have much land. So honestly, I'm not too worried about that. I don't think you're going to be able to do that much to me. And as you can see, we've also made this guy a pretty powerful king. It was this guy, but he died. He was burned to death, apparently. So his son has it all now. We're trying to manage them well, like we were earlier, because so far we've done really well with factions. As long as we manage them fairly well, we're mostly okay from them. Okay, so we finally had a son on player rare, and the game recommended the name Collie. I am I really do not think so. That is a terrible idea. It's like you're trying to get us killed. Like, that, that name never works. We'll go with a bass. That will work. Hopefully, that name is not cursed just like the other one. Oh, nice. And we just unlocked Battleman. So now we can upgrade our castles. We're also going to need uh, Manoralism, which is going to take another 11 years. Once that's done, we can actually upgrade the mines. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to our capital, upgrade all our castles, basically. Fairly expensive, but it's going to be worth it. And I will massively increase our income once again. But yeah, our army is just smashing everybody else's army, mainly just our men-at-arms as well. Oh, no, our door daughter, who is eight, just picked up cancer. We'll get a court physician. We'll get the best one we can, hopefully. Well, the choice is up to my daughter. What is going to happen? She got reduced disease symptoms, so she's feeling fine for now, but that is not... Oh, God. I always do that. I... For some reason, my armies raise really, really slow. Damn, okay. I didn't check this guy's allies, and he just called in this guy from over here who has 10,000 men. So I think we're going to need a little bit more than my men at arms this time. We'll get the Holy Order as well. And you know what? We'll also do a raise all. We're going to take as many as we can. Let's make sure we win this. As soon as it all raise, we're going to march in. There's 12,000 of them over there, but hopefully we have enough men to win this. Let's see. We can catch some right by here. And it's going to be a tough battle, that's for sure. We do have 17,000, but it just depends on what kind of men at arms they're coming with. Hopefully nothing too major. Yeah, that's perfect. They came in way too split up. Damn, that is not good. We are starving and they just caught all my levies out. I don't know if my men at arms are going to... Oh, no, that is my men at arms. That's even worse. Let's just get them in and see what happens. Yep, that's brutal. We are down to 23% and we have a battered army. Right now, they have 8,000 men. But it's not too bad. We'll let them split up, get some supplies back. As soon as they're supplied like they are now, we'll join them all together again. Just so they stay together and we'll march in for another fight. Hopefully, this time successful. They want a white piece. No, we need your land. You know what? He hasn't got much land. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to start sieging everything. We'll do one big army and then we'll just station besiegers. Otherwise, they're just going to run around for ages and we're going to be stuck chasing them. If we can just do enough siege though so quick enough we will automatically just win and yeah they go they're trying to unsiege their capital so we should be able to kill them and i think that will win the war for us as long as we win anyway it should too there we go that was a tough fight that took four years all of the other walls so far have been really easy that one though that was a tough tough fight oh somehow we also have a new regiment available as well so you know what let's get i think let's get some armored footmen as well to go with our house guards that'll be pretty good oh no yeah inner had died at 50 probably yeah due to her cancer but with these now built i think let's declare war i'm not gonna holy war them i think we'll do an invade kingdom for the kingdom of africa it's finally time to take back the vast majority of the land the catholic stole we'll bring our holy order oh they're already hired great so over here we'll also raise all our men at arms to fight our levies just to siege practically right now they have five thousand men i believe our men at arms will be powerful enough to defeat them so with our levies we'll just follow behind stationing besiegers everywhere where that we can. There we go. We've stationed besiegers all the way up here. And what we're going to do now with our men at arms and our big stack of levies, we're going to move these two now into fight. Hopefully don't let them get to our levies. Saying it's close, but I reckon we should win, right? Hopefully if we can catch them anyway. God, they just looped around so much. We started to starve. How has this gone so wrong? What we're going to do is move them all to there. These are going to have to deal with a little bit of starving. No, this is going terribly. They are literally just taking out our entire back line. Let's just go for the fight. We don't have much of a choice. We're going to pull them into one big army. And yeah, they got right behind us and started taking on all of these. Come on, please catch them and win. We have to win this fight. Oh, okay, finally. That got pretty scary then. But we can resupply a bit now. And we're up 19%. Now we're resupplied. Just keep fighting them now. Bring the numbers down as low as we can. And once we get to that point, then we go back. Back to sieging. But right now, we need to just make sure they have no units left. Okay, there we go. We actually captured her in battle because if we look, yeah. 
Damascus started sieging their land as well and taking war score off of us. Uh, we have inherited some wars. Damn. How do we want to deal with this then? A white piece of peasant uprising. I'm happy enough to do that. Well, that leaves us with a war against Sardinia. I'm not worried about that. But also a war against some guy over here. You know what? The only extra counties. I'm actually going to surrender this one, to be honest. Take that. And you know what? You take that county as well. I think that's for the best. Let's just resupply our armies first. We can always get them back later. It's not like they're taking much land. So I'm not that worried about it. But these are just constantly expanding. They're going to be so, so difficult to defeat. But after, oh, we've picked up manualism now. So I'm going to focus on household soldiers so we can get a bigger army. But I believe if we go to our capital, we can upgrade both of our mines now as well. So I'm going to do that. I'll be a really really nice boost to our income. Okay, and finally, any second now, we will unlock household soldiers. And we desperately, desperately need that. And what we're going to do, we're going to upgrade all of our units. It's going to be expensive. We need this. Otherwise, we have no chance because this guy's life, as you can see, we're now 57, but we have spent his whole life conquering. I didn't really show much of it because it wasn't very interesting. I'll be honest with you. It was just... War, war, war. What, you know what I mean. But so far left in Africa, we have Sardinia. Down here, we have Alta, Ajuran, and some other people. It was one big kingdom, but they've split because we've taken so much land off of them. But you see this green bit here. But actually, what is going on? They're facing a tyranny war, a liberty war, someone's claim, and an Armenian uprising. Because they have been way more powerful than us, like 35k they sit around, we're at 20k. So that's why we needed to wait for household soldiers. But as soon as their wars end, their power is going to shoot up. Yeah, they just ended, somebody else took over. And as you can see, they're up to 20k and fastly rising. Is it, is it going to stop today or... Uh, Please stop going up. It's still going up. Why? Okay, about 35k is how many troops they actually have. So I think to even have the slightest chance, we have to try and kill the current ruler. Now, because they just took over from a scheme, there'll be a lot of people who may just join quite easily because a lot of people are not going to like him. A lot of his vassals may hate him. So that does give us an opportunity to bribe some people. And if we kill enough of them, they may just get wrecked by a lot of their own wars and split up. That would be perfect for us. But this is the one thing I was dreading this whole run. I was dreading this and it happened so close to the end as well. It's been discovered, but we'll just invite more people to make up for it. And yeah, hopefully pretty soon he will be out of the way. Right, it's gone back down to 84% chance. Let's do it, please. Dangerous journeys. The thugs did their job. He is no more. Uh, okay, so with him out of the way, their power has stayed the same. So yeah, this is going to have to be the plan. Is literally just taking them out constantly if we can. It's going to cost us a lot of money and we're going to need a lot of money for this war. So it's not really looking good for us. When attempt on my life, you just try... Who are you? Like, where even are you? Okay, that was just some random guy trying to kill me. Cool. Right now, we're busy trying to kill someone else. So I'm not going to focus on that too much. Let's see. Hopefully, he's out of the way. There we go. But we got the trait murderer. That is terrible. But we're going to keep doing it. We've got 95% on this guy as well. We're super stressed out. Not looking too good for us. We have a plan and we got to get these out the way because they're so powerful otherwise. All right, 95% chance. But I reckon this is going to be our best chance now to jump in there and try and take them down. It's still going to be a tough fight. There's no getting around that. Our Holy Order has 5,000 men. I imagine this is going to be much, much scarier. But we're going to start a holy war for the kingdom of Egypt. We're just going to take all that land right there off them. Leaving them with a little bit of land down here, down here in this little section over here. Then after that, all we need to do is get these two down here and over here and i think that is everything maybe this island does it count as africa no perfect so let's see yeah they're gonna get a holy order on that so i'm expecting their numbers to like jump up quite sharp but what we're gonna do we are gonna raise all our men at arms and also our holy order together then behind them we are gonna take all of our levies we, we got a lot of money. We got 15,000. Now is the right time to spend it. So we are going to hire, you know, we'll go three things of mercenaries into one big army. Once all these are raised, we are going to move up. I think we'll go by sea up to like Egypt and try and catch out their armies. Oh, this. Oh, they're coming in. But there, that's perfect. OK, if we can catch them out, then that'll be a nice start to the war. We need to defeat their armies as much as we can. And once they're down to like a quite a low number, then we will jump 
actually on the wall target. But if these are just coming in our way when we were trying to go by C, that's perfect. Come on, please catch some for there. There we go. And as long as everyone else gets involved quick. No, really? Right, okay then. So there we go. We did take them armies on. We're going to go by C now. More north. Straight up to Egypt. And hopefully spot some more of their armies. If we can't, which... Yeah, I have... Mm, no idea where their main armies are, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do, we're going to get all our units now to start sieging inside the wall target. And maybe that will bring them to us. Now, we are losing money, 10 gold a month. We don't want this to go on for too long because, you know, we have got quite a few walls still left to do. But as long as we siege fairly fast, we keep an eye out. We're not getting flanked from any direction. And we keep our units close. I mean, we should be okay. Okay, they're coming back in again. So as long as we can all get together, we may have a chance of winning this fight. Okay, we're all together. You know what? Let's just go for it. We don't really... <sighs> it's saying we're going to lose, though. It's saying we're going to win now. You know what? Let's just go for it. If we can take them on while some of the other units are running away, we may be able to get, like, a nice head start. No. Damn. Okay, that's a really bad start for us. Yeah, this is not going great. I mean, they have 31,000 men now. So, yeah, this is a really Really, really bad start for us. We're starving as well. What I'm going to do, get a new thing here, and I'm going to have to get more mercenaries. We're really going to have to spend loads of money for this. But it's definitely not over yet. And this is our only chance now of winning this. We're 27,000 men. We're going to go right back. Hopefully, find their big army. Hopefully, soon. I don't know where they are. Right, what we're going to have to do is just start sieging again then. We'll just start sieging this whole area and basically hope for the best. Hopefully, if they come back to fight... We can defeat them this time. Otherwise, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, Siegen's going a little bit better this time. But I don't... Oh, their armies are down here. There's 7,000, another 4,000 down there. I don't know if there's any more anywhere. They still have 38,000 men, right? So they're going to be coming back. So we need to just, like, siege a big area where we can keep high supplies, wait for them to come into fight, and hopefully defeat them when they do. Okay, our mercenaries are about to expire in six months. Uh, yeah, this is not going to go well for us. We can't afford to keep rehiring them. So I don't... Don't think this is going to go very well. Oh, perfect. They have just come up. You know what? Let's go fight the ones that just come up. 12,000 right by there. Please catch them. Are they going to get away? No, we caught them. Okay. I think our mercenaries... Yeah, most of them are going at this point, which leaves us in a really tricky situation. I mean, unless they, if they don't all come up to fight us in one go, I mean, we may be able to win this. Okay, we have, what, 5,000 right by there trying to unseage. You're saying we're going to lose, but I imagine that's not counting everybody. So we're going to get everyone... Oh, uh, another 7,000 by there as well. It seems like they're, like, sending them up in waves. <laughs> Seems like they don't want to send everyone in one go. And I guess that's fine by me. But it does mean war score is going to be hard. To, still, actually, no, this might be... This is all of them, is it? There's thousands of them, but... No, I, that's definitely not all of them. But yeah, they seem more concerned on sieging than defending the war target. We're up 33%, which is not bad. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to start getting a lot more and fast. Yeah, this is perfect. We have to keep sending them back this way. When they come back down, defeat their armies. This is going to, like, massively limit their numbers. And realistically, it's our own only chance now. So what we're going to do, rather than go into siege more, we're going to send all our men and actually just spread them out through here, build up their supplies, ready for hopefully more of them to come back through. Okay, they're going by sea this time. They learned their lesson, it seems. Oh, no. There they are. They keep just coming back all of a sudden and appearing. What's our battle war score? It's only plus 15%. So... We can get a lot of percent if we can keep winning battles. And when they're split up like this, it's best because we can take down a lot of them while the rest of them are still getting involved. And realistically, it's our only chance. And this is still a really close fight. But because they were so slow coming in, we were able to win that. And what's our war score from battles now? 32. And I believe it caps out at 50. So still a decent chunk of war score to be made from battles. A new opponent. He's even... Wait. Wait, what has happened? Wait, what? Yes, the title was destroyed. That is the most lucky thing I think has ever happened to me in this game. That's actually huge for us. He is so much weaker. Like, that is massive. Yeah, this changes everything for us. Let's get all our units now on his new capital. And his units are over here as well. Let's chase them. <laughs> um, uh, you know, uh, of course we lost that fight. And it's not even taking us back to our own land. It's taking us to the sieged territory. What I'm going to do, we are going to get some... Um, mercenaries is no cheap ones. Maybe not. They're not paying 500 for a stack of light footmen. Return them home. I'm not so worried as our opponent is much weaker now. This has made my life 10 times easier. I mean, of course, the big kingdom that stayed is the one we need to fight because why wouldn't it be? But we'll just get them all to resupply, rebuild all of our units. What we're going to do 
I say, let's go for their capital. We may get a really nice capture. Maybe his ear or something. Because he is stationed at their capital. So there's a chance we actually capture him. And that would be huge for our war school. Oh, and they're raising some more men here. Maybe mercenaries. That takes up to 33%. Let's all now just start sieging the capital as fast as we can. Please get his ear, I beg. Wait, we captured... Prince Agathos. So now we are down 2%. If we can win a battle, we win. Because right now we are down 3% on war score. So if we can win a fight, we sh that should tip us over. May they're going to unsiege a little bit. Let's see if we can siege faster than them by keeping all our units together. We're down 88%. Come on, be a little bit faster, please. Oh! Artifact. Wait, why was that one county worth 12%? They're all worth a lot now. I guess because this guy has less land, each county is worth more on the war score, I guess. That makes sense. As before, it was not worth that much, but we will take that. That took an entire 10 years. I think that's probably our longest war yet. That was intense, but... <laughs> We have finally taken Egypt. That was the one that worried me the most. We definitely got helped out by the fact this guy had his above title destroyed. That helped loads, as you can see. And what, two years ago? And from that point, we kind of could just snowball. Although, they did have more men. I think if all of them grouped together and marched down to fight us, because we were starving as well, they would have destroyed our armies and we would have been done. There was not much we could have done from that point. We're down to just a thousand gold, which is not so great, but... We have a few things left to get, so we're going to get on now with picking up the rest. Okay, so we are finally ready, I think. I've checked the map like three or four times now. I think we have everything else. Please don't be in Africa. It's not in Africa. Okay, great. So we need now to go ahead and declare war for these islands. So let's go for it. And hopefully, you know, we've saved the hardest war to last. So we are going to raise all. We are landing on their island with 31,000 men. Uh, right now, we are... Close to death? Okay, maybe we should lose weight. And I was so caught up with the wars, I didn't even set my lifestyle. So I've wasted many years with our lifestyle. That's great. They do that a lot. Especially when I'm just focusing on wars. But let's just get this done quick. You know what? Assault fort, as soon as you can. There we go. Enforce that. Now, that's got to be it, right? That has to be it. Decision available. Unite Africa. The peoples of Africa are proud, brave, and strong. Yet, so many are misled and worship false gods. So you Night Africa one Africa. No one thought it could be done yet. Here I stand. The emperor over all of Africa. From the Atlantic coast to the Eastern Ocean, every tribe, farmer, and far in now bow to me. My subjects come from all walks of life, but I will bring us together and forge a new path. From this day on, we are one people. So we get the nickname, the Uniter of Africa and 750 Prestige. The Prestige doesn't feel like it's enough, really. <laughs> 750 prestige for what all of that and let's see the realm size is 441 counties i think it might be my biggest empire yet i wonder if it's a bigger realm size than slavia because if we look at the counties they're quite a lot bigger over here compared to up here a lot of them i wonder what's actually bigger i'm not sure but yeah this was meant to go out monday but it's coming out wednesday because i've had to record this over like three days it's taking quite a while so i just gonna turn it into one big video instead of splitting it up anymore but that was honestly so much fun and i gotta say a massive thank you to all the support so far since i've returned it's been incredible and i genuinely really really appreciate it but if you have any other ideas of any other sort of series you'd like to see in the future please let me know in the comments Comments, but for today, I'm going to leave that there. So thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. And I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to the channel members. We have Toxic Flame and Mr. Diesel.